Topic 5.6, Writing to Explain. And we learned how to identify and plot points on a coordinate grid. Today, we're going to use information on the graph to describe a real-world situation. I want you to analyze this graph here um, about Jenna's reading time and see if you can find some observations and then write a short, maybe two, three sentence story about what's going on here over for question number one. Do not submit your answers yet until the very end and go ahead and pause the recording now and do that. All right, you got your story written. Do not change that. Let me just see what you wrote down. Uh, let's take a look at this graph and see if we can figure things out. This x-axis here, what does that represent? The time that she read in minutes and then going up on the y-axis we have total number of pages read. Just for a review, can you tell me what the um, ordered pair is for point C? Did you say 10, 6? Before we go on, I want you to tell me what point B, located at 5, 3. What does that represent? Go ahead and type your answer to that question. What do you notice about the line segment between point C and E. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays horizontal. So what can you say about the number of pages that Jen, Jen read between these two points from 10 minutes to 20 minutes? Well, the total page numbers did not change, so she didn't read any pages. And what is the total amount of time that she spent reading? Well, right here, that would be 30 minutes. And can you tell me how many total pages that she read? Well, that would be accumulation of all this. Gee, she has read 11 pages. So at the end of her reading time, she read 11 pages in 30 minutes. So back to point C and, and E. What might she have been doing besides reading? Maybe taking a break or moving on to something else, getting a snack? And also, I notice a little bit of a difference in the slope or how steep the, the line is. So that kind of tells us that she read at different rates, correct? So from um, point A to B, uh, she read in five minutes, she read three pages. From B to C, five minutes to ten minutes. In that five minutes, she read three more pages, took her break. And then do you see where it kind of slopes down a little bit lesser here? from 25 minutes to 30 minutes, in that five minute period, how many pages did she read? Well, that would be just two pages. One thing I want you to understand is that a line graph always shows change over time. So this bottom axis down here, constantly, every minute, it's ticking away. This up here can vary. It can go up and down. She can start, stop. But the time is always going to be going. So you have a line that can tell a story. So here's your task. I'm giving you a scenario here. Cindy's errands. I want you to write me a story and maybe we'll share this with um, some of your peers. So I'll make it interesting but don't get too cutesy. And see if you can explain what is happening um, during her errand time.